Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. 25-year-old Courtney Williams now faces two first-degree murder charges in the death of her two young sons. Williams is accused of drowning five-month-old Holden and two-and-a-half-year-old Ronan in a bathtub. A memorial site has gone up in Natomas in honor of DJ Gio, who was one of two people killed during a robbery attempt early Sunday. It's on Amelia Earhart Avenue. The people behind the memorial only ask that visitors be respectful of the neighborhood when paying their respects. Sacramento police say 28-year-old Jose Adolfo Rangel has died. Police say he was run over early Monday morning while lying under a car trying to allegedly steal a catalytic converter. South Dakota's Attorney General Jason Ravensborg is the first official in state history to be impeached. This is over a 2020 car crash that killed a pedestrian, but Ravensborg initially claimed he might have struck a deer or another large animal. After just seven months in office, New York's Lieutenant Governor Brian Benjamin has resigned. It comes after his arrest in connection to a federal corruption probe. The Labor Department's Consumer Price Index jumped 8.5% in March, the highest since 1981. It's fueled in part by rising oil prices caused by the war in Ukraine. Many experts expect the inflation rate to peak by summer. Actor and comedian Gilbert Gottfried has died at the age of 67. He was known for his intentionally bizarre jokes and also for his voice work in children's movies, most famously the parrot Iago in Disney's Aladdin. Incredible images out of Mesa, Arizona, where an officer is lucky to only have bruises and cuts after part of a luggage rack flew through his windshield. Put my car in park, took a couple deep breaths, and then just tried to figure out if um, that item had actually gone into me. The mayor of Citrus Heights joined by members of Mercy Hospital and Dignity Health for the grand opening of the Citrus Heights Surgery Center. The third $13 million project will provide patients with a range of outpatient specialty surgical services. Sacramento firefighters rescued a small puppy from under eastbound 80 this morning while responding to a debris fire. It's now being fostered by the firefighter who rescued him. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.